So, good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. And this right here, of course, is Florida cranberry, Jamaican sorrel, hibiscus. It goes by a few different names, but all of the names kind of refer to uh, having these sour, beautiful little calyx that envelop the base of the flower and then the seed pod. It is hibiscus sabdafara, sabdafaria, one of those, I believe. And it's a really amazing plant. This should be grown in every home garden that can do it every year. Now, I'm no doctor, and of course, there's no such thing as medicinal plants or herbs or anything natural that does anything good for your body, of course. You guys know that, right? It's all lies, only pharmaceuticals and pills are good for you. <laughs> Keep that in mind. That is the disclaimer. Do not use this plant for anything because it doesn't work and it's absolutely useless. Please remember that. That said, I'm gonna tell you a few lies right now that are absolutely not true about this disgusting plant. <laughs> so, a little backstory. I started growing this, gosh, well over probably 20 years ago. I managed to get hold of some seed. This was way before my wife, way before my children. And it's just beautiful. It was just back when I was collecting plants to grow, and it was beautiful hibiscus. I wanted to grow it. And I was growing it, and then, you know, doing the research, found out about its medicinal benefits and whatnot and started making teas and jellies and and everything out of it i'm up by the road sorry every year and anyway there was a huge issue this is a day length sensitive plant they start flowering when the days start getting short usually they'll start getting buds around the beginning of september you know when the days are getting shorter so that makes it very hard for you guys up north to get seed off of it but you can still grow it and get calyx off of it because you can harvest the calyx which you can see them all over there anytime but to get ripe seed you're probably not going to outside of the gulf coast or in the deep south but anyway i was growing this and it had a huge problem with powdery mildew and even the ones you find today all the varieties you find today except this one are very susceptible to powdery mildew and that just comes because the days are cooling off, you start getting dew on the leaves, and the calyx, the seed pods, everything gets covered in powdery mildew. So I worked very diligently for a few years and selected out this variety right here, Manchester Black Florida Cranberry. I don't know why I called it Manchester Black, it sounded nice. And it is extremely resistant to powdery mildew doesn't have any issues with powdery mildew or fungus or fusarium wilt which will cause some of the Thai varieties to completely wilt and look horrible this is resistant to all of that stuff so you get beautiful calyx beautiful seed pods beautiful leaves throughout the entire cool season when these are ripening up and that was all me I uh, I've been selling seeds for this for years now, and you can find it pretty readily, of course. There's people that have started selling their own seed, but that is uh, what kicked off my, uh, you know, seed improving, plant improving, variety releasing, kind of uh, what I do. Yeah, this was the first improved variety of plant that I ever released that was done 100% by me. I've actually got several plant releases, fruit tree releases under my belt now, and multiple ones that you can find throughout the country. You know, this cranberry, Florida cranberry, uh, broccoli varieties, bean varieties, plum varieties, uh, yeah, squash varieties that I've worked with, grain varieties that I've worked with and yeah there's a few major nurseries and seed retailers seed growers that have picked up my seeds believe it or not so but they've come for me and i'm 
I'm very proud of some of the things that I've selected and bred myself. One of the most recent ones, I've been working really heavily with grain crops, but back to uh, this uh, Florida Cranberry, Jamaican Sorrel. I prefer Florida Cranberry. It's my favorite name. It's what I call it. This is a super easy plant to grow. As soon as it's warmed up, you stick the seeds in and they grow extremely fast. These will be small trees, literally, within just a couple months, a four or five inch thick trunk on them within just a couple months. This is how fast they grow. They're very poor soil tolerant, very drought tolerant once they get established, and they just grow like speed demons. Super easy to grow. But because they are daylight sensitive, if you're in the south like I am, that means you can plant the seed sorry for the cars, much later and not have absolute giant plants on your hand. And as you can see here, these plants are only about three feet tall. That's because I put the seed in for these the beginning of August. Yep, these were seeded the beginning of August and they started bud initiation starting to get the flower buds about the beginning of september here we are october and they are they actually have calyx ready to harvest you see them down there and they're flowering nicely and they'll continue to flower until a frost kills them or if we don't frost they are short-lived perennials because they do put so much energy into the calyx and seed production they they just peter out and die but if you do manage to keep them alive without a frost, they'll go for about a year and a half until it starts warming up again. And then they just don't do it. They can't sustain the flower production. And uh, yeah, that's what they do. But super easy to grow. Now, on to the lies about the medicinal <laughs> benefits about these guys. Remember, they're all lies, guys. None of these are true. Don't take any of this for fact. Don't do it yourselves. These Florida cranberries, and I, and I can give you stories about this, are extremely powerful medicinal. They are a diuretic. They, are, they will lower your blood pressure. They will lower your blood sugar. They are extremely cardiovascular protectants. I mean, they will keep your heart. They will do amazing things for your heart, your kidneys, and your vascular system, guys. They really do. My wife is a type 1 diabetic, if you guys don't know, and this is extremely healthy for her kidneys. She's got bad kidneys, and this just does wonders for her blood sugar, for her high blood pressure because of her diabetes, which causes issues, you know, with your blood vessels, and of course it causes issues with her kidneys, everything, but this mind-blowing awesome medicinal powers on this guys everybody should be drinking a glass of this tea you literally just take the calyx if you want to save seed you can just break off the outside here you can just break off that outside hard shell and there's a seed pod on the inside a round seed pod see that round seed pod oh there's a leaf in the way that's the seed pod you can just break off the outside calyx i use a spoon and just go all the way around it Gonna eat a piece here. Nice little sour, not bad tasting, but little sour things. But if you want to save seed, you just take a spoon or just break it off by hand. Little spikes and everything, and you can put that in a dehydrator and dry it or dry it out in the sun. And then when you want to make a tea out of it, you just take a good uh, little pinch of it, put it in not boiling water, but very hot water, and let it steep. Or I use a coffee pot. I just fill the coffee pot with the dried calyx and then let it run the hot water through and let it steep for a few hours. Makes a gorgeous, absolutely stunning, deep red, red, red drink tea. And it's a little sour, but you can add sugar to it or stevia. I add stevia or honey, and it's just super delicious. I tend to do it with the Florida cranberry calyx, lemongrass, and a bit of honey. That's what my wife drinks. And there's a fellow named Steve. He is my mother-in-law's boyfriend. He's a veteran, amazing guy. His name's Steve, call him Army. 
and he's an absolutely just amazing guy. He's done so much in his life in the military and everything, and unfortunately is uh, extremely sick. His kidneys are failure. He's in kidney failure. He's on the transplant list, and he's, he's basically, you know, his kidneys are gone. And I don't know if you know this, but doctors, for some freaking reason, like to do MRIs and everything when your kidneys are failing, and they inject a dye into you for them to be able to see what's going on, of course. I'm sure some of you guys may know this. And that dye is extremely toxic to your kidneys. Now this makes no freaking sense to me why you're injecting something that'll kill your kidneys into a person that's in kidney failure and you want to make that kidney last as long as possible till we can get a transplant. No freaking sense at all. That, that's doctors and modern medicine for you, okay? But since he has been drinking this Florida cranberry tea, it has kept him and his kidneys going for two years. I think about two years. I'm not sure on the time, but he would be, I'd hate to say this, but I, I think he would be dead now if he was not drinking this Florida cranberry tea every day like he does. It has put his kidney function points up and has stopped the dye that they inject into him to do his MRIs and CAT scans, whatever they do. It has stopped, it has kept him going. It has helped with his blood pressure, everything, drinking this Florida cranberry tea every day. True story, guys. I, myself, have 100% proof of the medicinal properties of this through my wife and through Army. No doubt. Just absolutely amazing plant. And besides being great for your heart, your kidneys, everything, just the color on it, it is filled with, you know, nutrients and plant antioxidants, vitamin C through the roof, everything. This is a truly amazing superfood plant, guys. I know this video is getting a bit long, but this is one that everybody should be drinking. And if you don't want to drink it in teas, it's really good. You make the tea and then you uh, make a jello out of it. Just get yourself some gelatin or even a, a, a standard store jello, non sugared one, if you like, whatever, and just make the jello with the red cranberry tea. Or you can take the calyx after you dry them, crush them up into a powder, and add that into breads or smoothies, whatever you like. Or just take the fresh calyx, but because they're around for such a short time, you don't have them fresh for too long. But you can put those in smoothies, or you can freeze them fresh to put them in smoothies. You can actually make a cranberry sauce out of them. After I dry the calyx and then make the tea out of it, I take the leftover spent, but there's still some stuff in there, and I'll add that to, I'll blend it up, and I'll add that to muffins. even to the smoothies and everything. Don't let any of it go to waste. But this is truly an amazing plant. You can eat the leaves, you can eat the flowers, the whole plant's edible, it's a hibiscus. But the amazing benefits of these calyx cannot be understated. So, yeah guys, I think it's been long enough talking about this beautiful plant. They are truly gorgeous. Even though you may be able to find Manchester black seed from other people, I would truly appreciate it if you uh, want to grow this plant that you come to me. This gets extremely large calyx on it. I have selected over the years for the biggest calyx they can get, and these will get larger than golf balls. These are really small plants, so the flowers are really small on them. But if you do plant them a bit earlier and actually give them their season to grow, these calyx can get up to four inches across just absolutely massive they look like beautiful red crowns just stunning looking really stunning looking and when you've got a hedge of these that's four five six feet tall covered in flowers every morning because they'll put on so many of those gorgeous flowers they're only open in the morning kind of like uh, okra flowers but they will just a wall of absolutely stunning stunning beautiful flowers and then once the flowers are gone you get just a red wall because the stems are nice and red you see just these big giant christmas like ornament things on these plants and they're just beautiful edible ornamentals these guys 
And throughout the season, of course, they've got the red stems, the red petioles. Just besides being so medicinal and amazing and something you should definitely grow, they're just beautiful plants. Truly a sight to go out in the early morning and see just tens of thousands of these flowers opened up on a nice hedge of this. But yeah, and uh, like I said, huge calyx on this variety. Very, very resistant to fungal diseases. Super drought tolerant, super poor soil tolerant. Just get them started and then you just let them go. The only issue I have with these plants and the reason I plant them so late in the year is because they are so vigorous. <laughs> if you give these guys care, they grow too big. I'm telling you that now. You have to. They, they will be monsters. One plant can grow to 15 feet tall, easily 10 feet wide in one season. Just absolutely amazing plants. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you're on YouTube or wherever you uh, happen to catch this video. And get some seeds from me, guys. I'll send you a whole bunch of seed. And you can then start saving your own seed. Or the seeds last for four or five years. They're very, very good in storage. Let them, they're dry. You can even stick them in the freezer and get them for longer. So if you can't save your own seed, just, I mean, save your own seed from your own plants, then just store the seeds in the freezer or in a cool, dry place for a couple years. That way you can grow these amazing plants every year. You should not pass these guys up. Just look at those beautiful flowers. They start out yellow, and then they fade to pink, and then they close up. So, uh, yeah, I'll send you quite a few seeds. Check out everything below, guys. I love you. Thank you for watching. The world is getting absolutely insane, so you got to keep your mind and your body healthy in these plants. Remember, don't do any of that. <laughs> don't even eat them. They're probably toxic. And they'll freaking kill you. I'm dead serious. My throat's getting itchy and closing up after taking a bite of that. I'm just messing with you. Or am I? <laughs> Remember, there's no such thing as herbal remedies or natural medicinals, guys. <laughs> You're only allowed to take them pills, you know, and get injected with a freaking, you know, CAT scan or MRI, whichever one it is, dye that destroys your kidneys when you're already in massive kidney failure from being subjected to so many drugs and chemicals while you're in the Army your entire life. Or you are unfortunate enough to... Ah, be stuck with type 1 diabetes since you were 6 years old and it's hard guys but uh, God provides and there are amazing things to help us along the way love you guys, see you later look at that just absolutely gorgeous and these guys even survived the hurricane they were still standing up after getting whacked by Ian 100 plus mile an hour winds to my property beautiful, look at that then you've got those gorgeous calyx that just get oh, stunning looking. Big, huge calyx on those. They look really nice. Just gorgeous.